Hey everybody, uh, this is the next motor. I just picked this up uh, yesterday. It's a 1940-something International Harvester Type B. Got this out of a field. It was just laying there. Um, needs a lot of work, but as you can see, it's not seized up. Uh, so, a little bit of work, we might have this one running too. Uh, built between 1941 and 1949. Model LB, one and a half to two and a half horsepower. And uh, as always, I will show you the progress as we go. Alrighty, the disassembly has started. Um, the valves were frozen, so we had to uh, disassemble it. And as you can see, the piston goes in and out nice. Uh, there's absolutely zero scarring in them all, so it's just beautiful. Um, We've got the head off of it. Uh, I've got the valves both broke free. They uh, they now actually seat in that head. Uh, slide in and out like nobody's business. If you can find a hole. So there. So we got the valves freed up and working. Seats are in mint shape. Uh, valves are in really nice shape. They were just frozen in the uh, in the valve guides. Uh, the valve guides actually feel really nice and solid on this too. So, um, next project, I'm going to rip the carburetor apart just to see if we can get it cleaned up a little bit more. Um, it looks like it's in really good shape. And then, uh, as soon as we're done that, I'm going to be uh, trying to get spark. You know, these old uh, motors ran on a magneto system so uh, whether that one works or not is uh, still unknown and debatable I kind of doubt it it's missing a piece there the wires ripped out chances are it's foobard but we'll uh, check it out and see what happens uh, I can order them off of eBay so that's where we got so far in this day I'm just gonna clean up them heads uh, put them valves back together and uh, work on that carburetor so uh, yeah it's getting there already now I'll probably post this before I add too much more to it or if I get a chance to add a bit more to it I will but uh, just so you know smooths on the roll with these old antiques